Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Unsung Heroes. Today we're going to be talking about the late, great Yoko Zuna. Uh, Yoko was from the Anawahi wrestling family. Did I say that right? All right, cool. Uh, he was born in 1966, and he passed away in the year 2000. Um, one of the, the earlier wrestling deaths, actually, from that era. Uh, I think Rick Rude was before him, and uh, Lu Luis Piccoli, of course, but... Um, Yoko was a two-time WWF champion, a two-time tag team champion with Owen Hart, a 1993 Royal Rumble winner, um, and he also has victories over, over Hulk Hogan and Bret Hart, so I mean, he's beaten some of the best. Um, he was one of the people, one of the fastest rising WWF stars that won the world title very fast, so he got, he got the belt real quick, and I remember, um... I was always a Mr. Fuji guy, you know, from the old demolition days. And seeing Mr. Fuji come out with him was was definitely something that put him over at the very beginning. Um, he had some good managers in his day. I remember Cornette was with him at one time, too. Uh, his WWF run lasted from 1992 to 1998. Um, so he was there for some of the Attitude Era uh, I don't really recall what he was doing during the Attitude Era. He might have even been sitting at home uh, because I know that they wanted him to lose weight. So I, I think that might have been what he was doing in 98 with the company. Um, he went indie from 98 to 2000. And, uh, you know, he he was sharing the bill with people like Jim the Anvil Neidhart and stuff like that. Which, which you know, I, it, who wouldn't want to go see an indie show with Yoko Zuna on it? You know what I mean? I mean, uh, that's, a, that's a headliner if you ask me. Um, and he passed on October 23rd, 2000. Like I was saying, it was in an era, you know, maybe at the beginning of, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, a rapture and pro wrestling where a lot of people left us. But I wanted to do this for Yoko because I wanted to make sure that Yoko was remembered properly in the history of pro wrestling. Um, he was somebody that came in, you know, after some pretty – pretty big guys like Kamala and, you know, One Man Gang was already out of the company, Akeem and, you know, King Kong Bundy and stuff. But Yoko came a little later and he came after some of the big guys that didn't really necessarily work out like Sid Justice, um, Giant Gonzalez and a couple other people. And Yoko came in and, and, and really hit a home run uh, as being somebody that could be booked in the main event while he was still, you know... Fresh with the company. Um, you know, from the Anawahi wrestling family, uh, I mean, you know, he's related to, to some of the best of all time. So, uh, mad props to Yokozuna, uh, wherever he be at. And I also heard this, and this is another reason why I wanted to do this. I almost forgot. Uh, Yokozuna was a big fan of gangster rap. Uh, there was a YouTube podcast. I can't remember who it was the other day. I think it was Conan, maybe. Somebody was saying that Yoko was somebody that was very fond of gangster rap and really knew his shit, knew, his, knew, his, knew the collection, you know what I mean? Knew uh, the ins and outs of gangster rap. So just wanted to say that. Uh, this concludes this episode of Unsung Heroes. Uh, have a good night, y'all.